I'm going to be adding the new, a new heat sink and a fan to the Valenium motor. Here's the part number. It says it's $12.99, but I got it for $11.99. It came in a box full of um, packing peanuts, and it also came with some stickers. You do have to cut them up, but that'll be fine. It also has a really long cable, which is nice because then you can get it into the receiver box. So, first thing I'm going to need to do is remove four screws to get into the receiver box. So, there should be two more channels left. And what you want to do is try and plug it into the last channel. And there, now it's working. And I'll show you again how to put put it in, because it might be a little bit confusing to some. So what I do did was instead of plugging it in this way, you have to plug it in this way. So you put it in this way, into here, into the last, the one. You plug it into the fourth channel and turn on the EC and it should be running. Now get all the cords back in. And then I'll cut out me putting in all the screws so it's not too boring. Now that we got it all back in and the wire hooked up into the receiver, now I can place it onto the motor. You can just snap it on like that, but these wires kind of get in the way. So there is an easy way to get them out of the way. And it's really simple, but all you have to do, most people don't know, that you can rotate this whole motor by removing this and then taking it out, but I'm going to need to change this bit. Now that we've got a bigger one on, we can remove. This now we got it out. Switch out the bed again to a smaller one. And then we take out this. Now we got this off. Now I can pull out the motor. Now as you can see, there's two screws right here that have the motor plate and then the motor. So all I do now is take these screws off. And then as you can see, there's four spots that you can put it in. And you're going to want to have it 
the wires off to the side. So you're going to want to have the motor mount to here and here. And they did have Loctite on these screws. So you're going to want to put some Loctite on them so they don't fall out. For now, we place it back. Paper, place it between the pinion and the spur gear, and rotate it down. Like that. Get the screw, place it in there. Get a bigger bit. Unscrew it in. And then it should be good now. Now we can plug back in the fan, tuck down the wires, and place back on the gear. And there. Now I got a cooling fan to keep the motor cool. They both run pretty quiet. And we also got some stickers to use. Thanks for watching.